Diego Alberto Milito is an Argentine footballer who plays as a striker for Argentine side racing club and also formerly played for the Argentine national team. A prolific and consistent centre forward, Milito has averaged just over a goal every two appearances over the course of his 10-year professional career. He was pivotal in Inter's 2009 Euro 10 treble winning season, contributing two goals in the 2010 UEFA Champions League final. He has been nicknamed El Pro and CIPE because of his physical resemblance with former Uruguayan footballer Enzo Francescoli, who had the same nickname. Club career, Racing Club, 1999 Euro 2003, early years in Argentina, Diego Milito started playing at Argentine First Division Team Racing Club in 1999, where he won the 2001 Aperture Tournament. During this time, his younger brother Gabriel played for Racing's main rival, Independient, as a defender. The two clubs would contest the Avellaneda derby with the two brothers lining up against each other. Genoa, 2004 Euro 2005, first years in European football, at the beginning of 2004, Melito moved to Italian second division club Genoa. After two very successful seasons, where he scored 33 goals in 59 matches in Italy, Genoa were relegated down to Serie C1 as a punishment for an alleged match-fixing case in the final match of the 2004 Euro 05 season. Due to this, Melito was forced to leave Genoa and would ultimately join his brother Gabriel at Real Zaragoza in the Spanish La Liga. Real Zaragoza, 2005 Euro 2008, making his mark in Spain, Melito again showed his incredible potential in Spain, scoring four goals in the first semi-final of the 2006 Copa del Rey to beat Real Madrid 6 a Euro 1. He finished the season as Zaragoza's top scorer with 16 goals in the first division. Melito was one of the top scorers in the 2006 a Euro 07 La Liga season. He scored 23 goals, two less than league top goal scorer Ruud van Nistelrooy and three behind European Golden Boot winner Francesco Totti. In November 2006, it was reported Zaragoza decided to buy him outright after his two-year loan was set to expire. Melito became the club captain at Zaragoza, taking over this role from brother Gabriel, who departed for FC Barcelona in 2007. His contract was extended in August 2007 with a buyout clause of a 100 million. His goals helped Zaragoza to a sixth place finish in the league. As of January 2008, Melito averaged higher than a goal every two games for Zaragoza, a statistic he also achieved with Genoa. Second spell at Genoa, 2008 Euro 2009, a return to Italy, on September 1, 2008. Just a few minutes before the transfer window closure time, Genoa completed the transfer of Melito from Zaragoza after the Spanish team were relegated to the Segunda División Cube Den. His agent, Fernando Hidalgo, confirmed Melito chose explicitly to return to Genoa despite having received more lucrative offers from other major European clubs. He made his debut on September 14 against Milan. Genoa won the game to a Euro 0 with Melito assisting the first goal and scoring the second. On November 9, Melito scored his first hat trick for Genoa in the 4 Euro 0 victory against Rugbina. He finished the season with 24 goals and 31 league appearances, placing him second behind Zlatan Ibrahimovic in the Capo Canonieri scoring title. In Tunisianale, 2009 Euro 10, a treble winning debut season. On May 20, 2009, La Gazzetta dello Sport confirmed that Diego Milito was transferred to Internazional alongside teammate Diego Motta. The transfer fees were a 28 million and a 10 million respectively but Genoa also received Robert Ikovska, Leonardo Bonacci, Riccardo Megarini, Francesco Boltzani Ivan Fischer and Cash in exchange. The striker adapted to his new surroundings quickly and had an excellent start to his Inter career scoring two goals and a 2 Euro 0 World Football Challenge win over City rivals Milan. Subsequently, on August 29, in his first ever derby della Madonna against Milan in Syria, Melito assisted two goals and scored a penalty, his first league goal of the season, to cap off a 4 Euro 0 victory. Later, on September 13, 
he scored his second league goal in a 2 0 0 home win against Parma. In the next league match against Cagliari, he scored both goals for Inter in a 2 0 1 away win. These two goals placed him at the top of the all time Serie A scoring charts for best strike rate, with 28 goals in 35 games, giving him an average of 0.8 goals per game. Melito continued his fine run of form with another goal in the next league match against Napoli, scoring the second goal after Samuel Eto'o scored in the first minute, a game that they won 3 Euro 1. The consistency which Melito had shown at his previous clubs was sustained throughout his debut season at Inter, and after the first few matches, he had established himself as a key contributor to the squad. On October 30, in a 5 Euro 3 home victory against Palermo, Melito, who had returned from an injury, came off the bench to make the result safe, scoring Inter's fifth goal. In the next game, against Livorno, he scored another goal, taking his strike rate up to seven goals in nine league matches. Three days later, on November 4, he scored his first goal in the UEFA Champions League in a 2 Euro 1 group stage win over Dynamo Kiev. It was the equaliser which led to Wesley Sneeder's game winner in the 89th minute. On February 24, in another Champions League match, this time in a 2 Euro 1 round of 16 win against Chelsea, he scored another important goal, his second in the competition. Four days later, Melito netted the match winner which gave Intonesia Nal a 3 Euro 2 victory at Odenese, in a thrilling win for the Nerazzurri. On March 27, after missing a 3 Euro 0 win over Livorno with a hamstring problem, Melito returned for a crucial battle at title contenders Roma, where he scored one goal in a 2 Euro 1 loss. On March 31, in a 1 Euro 0 Champions League quarter finals win against CSKA Moscow, he scored the winning goal which enhanced Inter's chances of reaching the semi finals. Melito scored a vital goal in a 3 Euro 1 home win against FC Barcelona in the team's first leg semi final win. During the very last matches of the 2009 Euro 10 season, Melito proved instrumental in Inter's winning of the first treble in the history of Italian football. The Argentine first scored the only goal in Inter's victory over Roma in the final of the Coppa Italia on May 5, 2010, enabling the Nerazzari to take home their first trophy of the season. Eleven days later, it was also Melito's goal which secured Intonesia Nal's 18th Scudetto when they beat Siena 1 Euro 0 on the final match day of Serie A with only two points separating the top two teams in Serie A. The goal lifted Inter to the summit of the table after being in a position to lose the league title to Roma at the half-time break as Roma, playing simultaneously, were winning their own match against Chivo at that point. Melito himself declared this goal to be the best of his career having been decisive in delivering a league title to his team. There was more to come from the Ford, however, and on May 22, 2010, Melito yet again proved vital as he scored twice to seal a victory in the Champions League final over Bayern Munich. As a result, Inter became European club champions for the first time in 45 years with a 2 Euro 0 victory and completed their historic treble championship season. After the treble success, Many pundits took note of the fact that Melito had always been an effective and efficient striker, yet remained one of the most underrated players in world football because of his low-key manner and the fact that he had plied his trade for smaller, less competitive teams prior to joining Inter. Scoring goals on the bigger stages for a marquee team finally earned the striker the recognition merited by his skill and goal-scoring record. Of the player and his two Champions League winning goals, The Guardian wrote. On August 9, 2010, Melito signed a new four-year contract with the Nerazzurri. On August 26, Melito was named 2010 UEFA Ford and Player of the Year, 2010 Euro 11. On August 26, at the ceremony called for the delivery of the UEFA Club Football Awards, he was voted the best striker in the previous season's European club by winning the prestigious UEFA Club Footballer of the Year. Inter followed the previous season's success with a victory in the Italian Super Cup against Roma. He failed to convert a penalty in the 90th minute, however, in the 2010 UEFA Super Cup match against UEFA Europa League champions Atla Copyright Tico Madrid. 
the game finished 2 0 0 for the Spaniards. In December, Melito scored a goal against Songna Mylhwa Chunma in the semi finals of the 2010 FIFA Club World Cup. Inter went on to win the tournament. On January 24, 2011, Melito received an Oscar del Calcio Award for Best Football Foreign Player, and the Best Footballer of the Year for the 2009 Euro 10 season. Melito registered just eight goals in 34 appearances in an injury plagued season as Inter finished the league in second place. 2011 a Euro 12, in the first Serie A match of the 2011 a Euro 12 season, Melito scored two goals in a 4 a Euro 3 defeat against Palermo. After a seesaw performance, Melito crept back on the score sheet with a goal on September 24 against Bologna and on November 2, he registered his 200th goal with the club in a Champions League match 1-2 a Euro 1 against Lille OSC. On November 27, Melito earned his 400th career appearance in the league match at Siena, while on December 18, in a 1 Euro 0 win over Siena, he played his 100th game in Serie A on December 21, marks in a 4-1 win against Lex and January 7 scored a double goals in the 5-0 to Parma. On January 15, 2013, Inter won the derby della Madonnina against Milan through Melito's lone goal his 200th for an Italian club across all competitive competitions. With his goal at Milan, he has scored seven goals in just nine derby matches played in Italy a Euro four goals in four games in the derby della Lantina for Genoa against Sampdoria and three and five in the derby della Madonnina. On February 1, Melito scored all four Inter goals in a four a Euro four draw at the San Siro against Palermo the first four-goal game in the Serie A since Christian Vieri accomplished the feat for Inter against Brescia on December 1, 2002. It was also his second four-goal game, the first accomplished with Real Zaragoza in a Copa del Rey match against Real Madrid on February 8, 2006. Melito scored a hat-trick on April 1 in a 5 Euro 4 win against his old club Genoa and added another hat-trick on May 6 in the derby della Madonnina against Milan where Inter won for a Euro 2. With this feat, Melito overpassed Ronaldo's 49 goals in the all-time list of goals scored in an Inter shirt, with 50. It was also the fourth hat-trick scored in a Milan derby, after Altafni on March 27, 1960. Amadai on November 6, 1949. And Mies on November 1, 1953. On May 13, after the club's 3 Euro 1 loss against Lazio, Melito finished the season with 24 goals, four behind leaders Luton Ibrahimovia. 2012 Euro 13, Melito started the 2012 Euro 13 season scoring the second goal of a 0 Euro 3 final victory over Serie A newcomers Pescara in the first game of the season. On October 28, he celebrated his 100th Serie A match in an Inter shirt scoring his fourth goal of the season away against Bologna. Three days later, on October 31, he scored his fifth goal against Sampdoria in a game that ended 3 Euro 2 for Inter. It was also his 200th career goal across all competitions. On November 4, he scored a double in the match against Juventus in Turin, a 1 Euro 3 Inter win. After Inter's 2 Euro 1 victory over Napoli on December 9, where Melito registered a goal, Melito celebrated his 100th Serie win out of 197 games played between both Genoa and the Nerazzeri. With 28 goals scored, Melito also became the player with the most goals scored in the Serie A during the 2012 calendar year, ahead of Napoli's Edinson Cavani and Udinese's Antonio Di Natale. Returning from an injury suffered in January on February 10, 2013. Melito marked his return in the home win against Chivo by scoring a goal and providing an assist on Esteban Cambiasso's strike. Melito's season injuries woes continued, however, as on February 14, in a UEFA Europa League match against CFR Cluj, he was injured in the seventh minute with a collateral ligament injury, anterior cruciate ligament, and capsule in his left knee. Two days later, Melito announced that the surgery to repair the injury was a success, but the player will not return to the pitch for at least six months, ruling him out of contention for the remainder of the season. 2013 a Euro 14, 
Melito returned to action for Inter, against Sassuolo on September 22, 2013, having been on the bench in the previous match against Juventus. He scored a brace in a 7-0 away win over the Serie A newcomers. However, he was beset by injury yet again, putting him out for a further 10 matches. He returned to the team on January 6, 2014 in a 1-0 away loss to Lazio, coming on as a late substitute. Come back to racing, in 2014, it was confirmed he would come back to his first club, Racing Club, where he start his professional career. Melito scored in his racing return to help team to get a 3 Euro 1 win over defensor Y Justicia on the opening weekend of the Argentine Championship. On August 26, 2014, he scored a crucial goal with a penalty in the 1 Euro 0 victory against Arsenal de Saranda in Week 4 of Argentine Primera Divisia Cube Den. International career Melito made his Argentina debut on January 31, 2003 against Honduras where he also scored his first goal. He scored his second and third goals on July 16, 2003 against Uruguay, but appeared only intermittently during the following years and was omitted from the 2006 World Cup squad. He played for Argentina in the 2007 Copa Arma Copyright Rica tournament, gaining playing time after Herner N. Crespo's injury in a group stage match against Colombia, where he scored a goal. Melito's impressive performances during his time at Genoa led him to be called more often, especially under the reign of manager Diego Maradona, where Melito would oftentimes be deployed as a substitute. After his first season with Inter, Maradona included Melito in the Argentina squad for the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa, where he would feature in two games as Argentina were eliminated for a Euro 0 in the quarterfinals by Germany. On June 1, 2011, Melito was included in new Albi Celeste manager Sergio Batista's 23-man squad ahead of the 2011 Copa Arma copyright Rica, along with his brother Gabriel and Inter teammates Javier Zanetti and Esteban Cambiasso. He did not feature in any matches during the competition. Personal life, Diego is married to Sofa A and they have two children. He also holds an Italian passport, due to his Italian ancestry from Terranova da Siberi in Calabria, where his grandparents Salvatore Melito and Caterina Borrelli emigrated from. He is the older brother of former football player Gabriel, who last played football for Independiente before retiring. Career Statistics, Club, as of May 18, 2014. National Team. International Goals, Statistics Correct as of Matches Played May 22, 2010. Honours, Club, Racing Club. Argentine Primera Divisia Cube Den, Aperture 2001, Internazionale, Serie A, 2009 Euro 10, Coppa Italia, 2009 Euro 10, 2010 Euro 11, Super Coppa Italiana, 2010, UEFA Champions League, 2010, FIFA Club World Cup, 2010, Individual, Copa del Rey, Top Scorer 2005 Euro 06, Garandoro, 2008 Euro 09, 2010 UEFA Champions League Final, UEFA Man of the Match, UEFA Club Ford of the Year, 2009 Euro 10, UEFA Club Footballer of the Year, 2009 Euro 10, Serie A Footballer of the Year, 2009 Euro 10, Serie A Foreign Footballer of the Year, 2009 Euro 10, References External links, Diego Melito a Euro FIFA Competition Record Guardian Statistics, Diego Melito at national-football-teams.com, FC Internazionale Profile, ESPN Soxnet Profile, UEFA Profile, 2010 FIFA World Cup Profile, El Pro and CIPE Eurocent IT.